Yo, what's good? It's Mastermind MMA, and let the games begin. Fucking Conor McGregor comes out, and he quote-unquote roasts senior Floyd Mayweather. So, <laughs> there's a picture of Floyd just in the gym, like, cheesing out uh, after training, and Conor McGregor tweets out, Man, much respect to... Oh, excuse me. Man, much respect to Floyd Sr., Still getting a few rounds in at the gym. I hope I can still train at that age. Respect. That was shitty, but I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> but yeah, man, so... Now... Now the gamesmanship starts. Because... I just did a video and uh, about talking about how Mayweather booked the gym Grand for August 26th. And now, on BJ Penn, like an hour ago, they posted this. I don't even know when he tweeted this shit out. Let me see. I'm about to tell you. Um, so, yeah. While I look that up, you know, this is what we're going to be getting now. It's We have, like, two months build up, which is bullshit because we've been getting years build up of this. I actually... You know, I went to look for that, the money fight promo picture, um, and when I saw it, there was an article about, look at this teaser for a rumored Mayweather-McGregor fight, and that article was posted May of last year. So they've been talking about this for over a year already, and, um, you know, it's kind of crazy because, (sighs) give me one second, man, fucking internet's being stupid as shit. Alright, so he tweets that today at 12.49am. Now, here's what's going down, man. Fucking, this is all we're going to be hearing. We're going to hear Floyd say something about Connor getting tapped out. And how he quit. And how he lost to Nate Diaz twice. Then you're going to hear Connor talking about maybe beating women. You know, I don't know if he'll go that far. And then you're going to hear him talking about the cheap shot. You know, the only knockout you got was a cheap shot. And all the... I'm not going to go through the whole list. But this is basically what we're going to be getting from now until the day of the fight. It's going to be a lot of Twitter Twitter fingers. We're going to be getting a lot of thumb thugging. A lot of broadband blooding. A lot of, a lot of Comcast cripping. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So... They're going to be talking so much shit back and forth, and if it gets clever, I'll enjoy it. This was rather clever. Um, If it gets cringy, then it's going to be cringe, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't, you know, Floyd's not that intellectual of a guy to come up and do it, so it's kind of going to be the Connor show, you know what I mean? Um, He's going to be roasting the shit out of Floyd. Floyd's just going to talk about how he lost, and... um, you know, the one thing Connor can't talk shit about is money. Because we all know that Floyd is shitting on him in that aspect. But now that now motherfuckers getting mad money now after this fight. But Connor's getting more money. I mean, no, not Connor, Floyd. So, yeah, you're the richest guy in the UFC. But you could, you could shit on every UFC fighter. You can't say nothing about Floyd. So, I think that... Give me one second... Yeah, so, um, I think that, I think that this definitely confirms it, you know, if this just came out that they, he reserved a spot, and now Conor McGregor is tweeting about Floyd, you know, it, it's obvious, I think they know, everyone knows, but I don't know who in the contract has the right to announce it, I doubt it's the UFC, I doubt it's Conor, it's probably coming from Floyd, we might see a motherfucker pop up on ESPN, I doubt he'll pop up on Fox, FS1. So we're going to see Floyd on ESPN one of these days on First Take or one of those shows. And he's going to announce, you know, me, we have a tremendous, we have a tremendous announcement coming up. Uh, I will be fighting Conor McGregor at MGM Grand August 26th. And everyone's going to be like, oh, what's the split? Da, 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 da. But anyway. Shit's going down. They're starting already. And I have a feeling this is going to be the first of many videos I'm going to be covering on this. So, 
yeah, man. Uh, I hope this shit is not cringy. I hope that they actually take the time to think about it. You know, you have Connor cringe when when it's scripted. Like, the whole Nate Diaz 1, 196 buildup, that shit was cringy as fuck. He's teaching kids jujitsu class on a Sunday and all that shit. Yeah, I know that was a little British. But, um, yeah, so that that was really cringy. And then, uh, what, what other... He was saying, like, so much cringy shit that was so scripted. And that whole, um... I'm dressed like El Chapo in his prime and all that. And, like, you know, when it comes, like, the who the fuck is that guy? That shit's off the cuff. That shit's, like, off the dome piece. It's organic. It's funny. But when he does all this scripted shit, I'm not trying to hear it. So I'm hoping, like, this shit is clever. So I hope it kind of elevates from here. I don't see Floyd having much of it about it. It's going to be the Connor show all the way up to the buildup. So looking forward to that. And, um... Looking forward to the fight, man. But finally, you know, it'd be like the biggest blue balls if this shit wasn't happening. But it looks like it is, and it's going to be history, man. So I don't know. Do you guys think it's going to open the door to... Stipe came out talking more about the Anthony Joshua fight. Do you think it's going to open up the door to crossovers? Let me know. You already know. It's Mastermind MMA.